Beginning tomorrow and for the next 45 days, the Utah legislature will meet to pass a budget, spending billions of your tax dollars and debating bills that impact your life. So how can you get involved? Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has your guide to talking to the legislature. We asked these five community activists, policy advocates, and elected lawmakers for their advice on how to get involved in the Utah State Legislature. They're reliant on hearing the voice of the people, the voice of regular citizens like me and you. Emily Bell McCormick is the founder of the Policy Project. She says, first of all, learn how a bill becomes a law. If you can break it down to the very basics and start understanding how the system works, it becomes a lot more approachable. Find out who your lawmaker is. I love hearing from my constituents. The legislature's website has a tool to plug in your address. Representative Karen Peterson says you can also meet your lawmaker at town halls. It's almost every legislator sends out an email newsletter, so signing up for that is a great way to get information straight to you. Now that the session is getting underway. I want to know first my constituents. That's my priority. If you want to get in touch with your lawmaker in session, Senate Minority Leader Luz Escamilla says here's the best ways to communicate. Put on the subject line if you're going by email or in a text, I'm your constituent, because then you're going to be prioritized. Include your address so they know you're in their district. And I try and keep it as brief as I can while giving the valuable information because they are tight on time. Sue Robbins with Equality Utah's Transgender Advisory Council says make your communications personal. So these email blasts I don't like in general because if you think about it if a legislator's in session and they start getting hundreds of emails with the exact same subject they're just going to start going marcus red marcus red marcus red and keep it civil you know, insulting someone probably is not going to put you in a really good place to start trying to find solutions often i get emails or texts that tell me vote for hb 343 I don't know what HB 343 is when I have a thousand bills in front of me. So if you can say House Bill 343 sponsored by this person or give one little line explaining what the bill is, it helps me a lot. Nothing actually, you know, comes close to like, you know, taking the place of in person. Heather Andrews, the state director for Americans for Prosperity, says don't be afraid to testify at a committee hearing, but you can also give public comment online. Legislative hearings are live streamed. You can actually join, you know, in your pajamas from home, any any meeting, any legislative meeting and participate. So what do you do if things aren't going your way on Capitol Hill? There's a lot of times there's a lot of anger that comes sometimes and emotional reactions to things, um, especially when you don't feel like your voice is being heard. But I would just, you know, recommend, you know, understanding that these individuals are people too. Always give them praise for the good work they've done. Like that's a really important component. We sometimes tend to like focus in on the negative in our state and the things that we're upset about. But how many things are going right? Sometimes the work requires session after session communication and we can't get upset or give up after just one session. Americans for Prosperity and the Libertas Institute are actually putting on a legislative boot camp later this month. It's open for anybody who's interested, regardless of political affiliation. We've got a link at fox13now.com. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.